Initially, I didn't wanna fall for you. Gather my attention, it was all for you. So don't take advantage, don't leave my heart damaged. I understand that things go a little bit better when you plan it. Oh, so won't you send me your location? Let's focus on communicating, cause I just need the Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look, which is absolutely perfect for summer. And yes, I know I live in Australia, so it is currently winter here, but summer is my season. Like I am definitely a summer baby. Since majority of my subbies are from the Northern Hemisphere, where it's currently very warm, I figured that I would do a summer inspired makeup look using all drugstore products so that it could totally be affordable for all of you guys out there. I've never actually worn like straight matte yellow on myself and I'm honestly living for how it looks on my skin tone. Like I don't know why I didn't try it out sooner, but I did have a little bit of a hiccup when I was creating this look. You will see it as you watch the tutorial. So if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you can stay updated on all the videos I post. And with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. I'm gonna start off today's look with my eyes. So first of all, I'll be laying down this as my base. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And essentially, like I said, this will act as my base. The reason why I'm using this as opposed to any other eye primer or concealer, which is what you could use if you didn't have this, is because it's white. So it's gonna make that yellow eyeshadow really pop on the lids. I know it looks completely crazy on my lids right now, but it'll all come around in the end, I promise. So I'm gonna set that down with some of the Australis finishing powder. Alrighty, so my base is done, and now I'm gonna go into eyeshadows. So I will be using these bad boys today. As you can see, these are the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palettes. I have the Warm Neutrals and the Brights one. So I'm gonna be using a mixture of these today. Starting with this shade right here, I'm gonna take that on my Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush and run that back and forth through my crease to act as my first transition shade. So as you can see, I'm bringing this color all the way from the outer corner of my crease to the inner corner, and I'm slightly blending it up towards the brow bone because my lid is completely white. We want to kind of blend that in a little bit better so it doesn't look so crazy. My lids are looking a little bit dry because even though I'm filming this like fun summer look, it is winter here in Australia, so just ignore that. But next up, I'm going to be going back into that same palette and taking this slightly warmer brown shade and I'll be using pretty much the same brush again, but I will be putting that right in the socket of my crease. I'm gonna start working on the outer corner of my eyes. So I'm gonna be taking this cool tone brown shade right here, and I'm just using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite brush to apply that to the outer corner of my eyes. As you can see, I am starting from the very outer corner and then slightly pushing it in towards the center of my lid, but I'm doing it ever so gently so it's not so harsh. I'm also just running it through the outer corner of my crease just so it blends nicely along with those other shades. And I'm just going back in with that brush I applied the crease shade with just to blend in that darker color a little more. Next up, I'm just gonna be taking this shade from the palette right here and I'm using the e.l.f. Professional Eye Blending Brush. So I'm just gonna be using this shade to apply next to that dark shade that I applied on my eye previously. This is pretty much going to act as a sort of transition shade on the actual lid. So I have to be honest with you guys, as you can see, I have gone ahead and applied a little bit more of that NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil to my lids because I tried to apply this beautiful yellow shade, but it didn't really like to adhere to my lid very well. So I'm just gonna try again and see what happens. This happens in makeup, guys. If you make a mistake or if something doesn't work, there's always a way to fix it. So I'm using the Sigma E55 eyeshading brush and I have some of that yellow shade on there and I'm just going to pack it on. And as you can see, it is definitely sticking to that a lot better than my lid. And it's super bright, so I'm happy with that. That's the thing with these bright kind of eyeshadows, guys, is that they may kind of swatch beautifully, but they can totally work completely different as you put them on the eye. 
So don't be afraid to kind of play around with different bases. As you can see, it works really well with that sticky kind of base underneath it. It's almost as if it's like setting that base and creating a beautiful color as well. So I'm definitely much more happy with how that turned out now. So I'm just going to go back in with whatever is left on my blending brush and kind of just blend away at that top edge just so it's not as like harsh. Like it can be a little bit harsh, I don't mind, but just want to kind of add a little more color into that area. I'm also just going to go ahead and kind of blend at that edge again because I did apply the base and then apply that yellow again. It kind of did take away from the other corner. So just going to quickly fix that up. I'm also going to go back in with this shade and kind of work in the middle. So it kind of gives like a really nice gradient effect. I wasn't going to do this at first, but I feel like it looks really pretty, almost like a sunset. Alrighty, next up, I'm going to give myself some winged liner. I'll be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Love this stuff because it dries matte, which is perfect for a look like this. And I'm going to try and make it really thick because I feel like thick black liner with yellow shadow looks good. So my winged liner is done. Literally, I never wear winged liner this winged out. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to take flight right now. But before I do, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a coat of mascara. Today, I'll be using the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. And I really want to make sure that I cover my lashes because they are covered in a little bit of yellow eyeshadow. So when you apply mascara, you want to make sure that you are covering the lashes to avoid any of that yellow on the lashes from peeking through. I'm also just going to go ahead and apply some liner to my tight line. This one is just one by NYX, just so that area of my eye stays nice and dark. For falsies, I decided to go with my trusty old Queen Bees by Coco Lashes, just because I feel like I need a really nice wispy yet full lash for this look, which is exactly what these lashes are. They're very full at the base and they wisp and fan out at the ends, which is why I love them so much. Alrighty, I'm going to finish off the eyes a little later, but for now I'm going to get started on the face. So I'm just going to be using the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer as my base because I will be going in with foundation now. So for foundation, I'm already shaking it up. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. You all know how much I love this. Honestly, I would say have to say like this is my favorite foundation ever. And I'm totally gonna be sad when I run out of this bottle and I have to try and purchase a new one because it is a little bit of a mission to get my hands on this, but totally worth it. Literally, I'm so obsessed with that foundation. Words cannot describe how much I love it. So now that the base is done, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of color correcting. So I have here the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal. This is actually their peach corrector. So I'm gonna use this to kind of help brighten up the darkness underneath my eyes. And then for concealer, I have here the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This is a pretty good concealer as well, considering the fact that it's only like, what, four bucks? Um, the shade that I'm using, if you're wondering, is light medium beige. So I'm pretty much just going to apply this in all the areas I want to conceal and highlight. So underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, above my brows and on my chin. And I'm just going to use a dampened beauty blender to blend it into my skin. I'm going to go ahead and set that concealer in place. I'll be using the yellow shade from the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. This is the Dulce de Leche one, I believe. So yeah, I'm just gonna be using the lighter shade to set that concealer in place. And then to set the rest of my face, again, I'm gonna be using a Wet n Wild product. This one is their Photo Focus Foundation. So I'll just be using that to set my foundation in place. I always feel like I don't need to set my foundation in place because the foundation kind of sets itself and it looks so good, but just for extra measures, we're gonna do it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and contour now. So I'm taking this shade right here. This is the NYX Pro Contour and Highlight Palette. And I'm just gonna be using a Sigma F05 small contour brush to contour my face. So when it comes to contouring, I really like to concentrate most of the color towards my ear and then kind of feather it towards the front. I don't really like to go past my eyes just because I have a really round face, so that doesn't work for me. I also like to contour my jawline because it makes you look like you have a jawline, which is something I don't really have. <laughs> 
Now when it comes to contouring my nose, I've been really into this brush right here. This is what it looks like. I don't, I guess it's just like a typical eyeshading brush with synthetic hair, sorry. And it's by the brand Look Good Feel Better, but honestly, it's bomb when it comes to contouring my nose. I don't use anything else anymore. Next up, I'm going to hit my face with some bronzer. I'll be using the Milani Baked Bronzer. This one is in number 5, Soleil. And I'm just going to be using the Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush just to slightly dust this over my face. I really like this bronzer because it has a sort of gold shimmery sheen to it, so it looks absolutely beautiful when the sun hits your skin gives you that glow. For blush, I'm gonna keep it peachy. So I have this one by Rimmel London. This is 190 Coral, and I'm just going to use a Real Techniques blush brush to apply that onto the apples of my cheeks. Next up, I'm gonna go in with a highlighter. This is the Mega Glow Highlighter from Wet n Wild in Precious Petals. You guys know how much I love this. I use this all the time, and it is absolutely perfect for this kind of look because it has that like really nice peach tone to it so it looks beautiful on the skin literally this is quite possibly my favorite highlight it honestly <sighs> makes me feel good every time I apply it I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes now so back into this warm neutrals palette I'll be taking that really warm rusty brown shade right there and I'm going to run that along my bottom lash line and really smoke it out. I'm also going to take this dark brown shade that I used for the outer corner of my eyes and I'll be using a Sigma E30 pencil brush to run that along my lash line as well but I'll be applying it much closer to the lashes. I really like doing this because it gives the eye a really nice soft grading effect so it doesn't look like you just slapped a color on that bottom lash line, it kind of fades into your skin. Now for the inner corner and my brow bone, I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's just a really light shimmery gold shade and I'll be using the Zoeva 238 Luxe Precise Shader. It's this really tiny brush and I'm just going to apply that in those areas. For the lips now, firstly, I'm going to line them with the Chi Chi Cosmetics Lip Liner in Centerfold. You guys better not sleep on these Chi Chi lip liners. They're actually really, really good. And I may have to start collecting them all because they are that creamy. I'm gonna go in with my favorite NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This one is in the shade London. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on my lips. And then I'm just gonna go over top with the Luxie Lips Pigmented Lip Gloss by Astralis. This one is in the shade Eiffel Tower because we want them lips to be nice and juicy. I was about to say this is the finished look, but I forgot to apply mascara to my bottom lashes, so we gotta go ahead and do that. So this is the final look, guys. Honestly, obsessed would be an understatement. I am in love with yellow, the pop of yellow. Like it just, it gets me, it really gets me. Anyways, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know what you think of this look. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're still here at the end of this video and you're not subscribed. You, you might want to subscribe. As always, I will list all the products that I used throughout this video down below in the description box, as well as all of my social media accounts. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook, check out the description box. If you guys have any other questions or requests for future looks that you would like to see, let me know down below. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.